For nearly a decade, the 5 Series BMW was a widely admired symbol of the success of Sest 80s. Boardroomed high flyers in their Armani suits admired the no-nonsense lines and butch aggressiveness. It became the executive chariot until a new slippery-shaped model appeared in 1988. The most remarkable thing about the old-shaped BMW 5 Series is it still looks a million dollars, even though it's been superseded by a new model. Take a look at this one with its deep black paintwork and fat aloe wheels, and you have to admit, it still looks an impressive machine. But does buying a car like this require the resources of the Duke of Westminster? We took it to a shopping centre and asked a few passers-by how much they thought it cost. £7,000? About 15000 Probably about twenty. Twelve hundred, something like that. Twelve thousand, sorry. Around about uh, 7000 I would say. I don't know. £2,000? Don't know. She may have been guessing, but she was, in fact, bang on. We did indeed buy this 83 520i for just £2,000. Someone else who knows a cheap BMW when he sees one is South London car dealer Andre Thorns, who rates them so highly he actually runs one. These sort of cars are not old hat. They fit in anywhere, you know? You could go uptown and park this next to a Rolls Royce and feel quite comfortable and not think that, oh, he's got too much money, I'm parked behind him in my 5 Series. You're as just as important as him in the 5 Series as he is in that Rolls Royce because this is still a luxury car. This symbol means many things, and it means black man's wheels, brother's motor wheels. It could mean anything, but to be quite honest, it means what you want it to mean, which is BMW. You know, and um, like I say, you fit in anywhere in this car. It has its own, it has its looks and it has its credibility cut out for itself, you know. It's a quite square and up-to-date gentleman's car. Our old shape 5 series won't be found in a plate glass BMW outfit. They're just too old. The best place is the classified ads. Colours sell cars and the best for the 5 is Zinnabar Red. Go for strong colours like this one and some of the metallics and avoid the Stalingrad greys and channel crossing greens. But the 5 Series needs more than just a strong colour to make it desirable. This is the bottom of the range 518i, the least attractive specification because of the asthmatic four-cylinder engine, steel wheels with hubcaps and lack of electric windows and central locking. The 520i Lux over here, on the other hand, is the much better buy because it has the more robust six-cylinder engine, the alloy wheels, the central locking and the electric windows. Simply put, the more it's got, the more it's going to look and feel like a BMW should. And more importantly, when you come to sell a high-specification car like this, it's going to be a question of beating off eager buyers in groups of 16. Mechanically, the car is a lot stronger than most. Listen out for a whining differential. You'll hear a drone from the back of the car. Camshaft wear on high mileage examples. Listen for a ticking from the engine. And worn valve guides aren't unknown. Look for a puff of blue smoke between gear changes and on startup. And don't forget to insist on a full service history. One small annoyance are the service interval warning lights designed to tell you when your next service is due and keep you firmly joined at the hip with the BMW dealer network. Now, not surprisingly, BMW say that these lights have to be reset by a BMW dealer at dealer prices. They will, however, sell you a special resetting tool for some £300 if you want to do it yourself, or like us, you can go out and buy one of these tools for 34 quid. Simply plug it in, press the button for a few seconds, and presto, out go your warning lights. Alternatively, if you think 30 quid's too much, one BMW service manager we spoke to said he could put your lights out for a tenner. Things we would recommend you do buy from BMW are safety parts, like brake pads, shock absorbers, and steering bushes. You can't, on a car like this, afford to take risks. Running a 5 Series needn't break the bank. There are plenty of independent specialists, like this one, who will sell you parts for your BMW at considerably less than you might think. Smash a rear light cluster in a car park, and a BMW dealer will relieve you of nearly 100 pounds. But here, the identical light cluster made by the same people, but not in a BMW box, will cost you just 60 pounds. You'll save the most on copy body panels. They may not have the precision of the Bavarian originals, but when your car's getting on in years, does it really matter? 
Similar savings can be had on trim parts like this grill section or other infuriatingly expensive items like bumpers, badges and rubbing strips. And perish the thought, should you ever come back to your 528 to find it neatly propped up on bricks without wheels, a new set of alloys from here would cost just £178. But from a BMW dealer, a new set of alloys weighs in at £890. They may not be identical, but they'll do the job well enough. A usable 83520i starts at around £1,750. A Mint 86528i can be had for as little as 5000 But the real bargain is the 535i. It's a real 140 mile an hour Autobahn Stormer, and at just 5000 a lot cheaper than most people reckon. To see if the years had taken their toll, we took it to Bruntingthorpe Proving Ground. Now, we wouldn't want you to try this at home since we're on a test track in supervised conditions, but just to give you an impression of how unburstable these old 5 Series are, this 535i, despite having five years and 60,000 miles under its belt, is still happily pulling 130 miles an hour in its stride. So, if you're looking for a robust and reliable, together-looking family saloon and you fancy a bit of street cred as well, then look no further than the old Shape 5 series. You won't be disappointed.